It is. We're recording. Yay. Oh, no. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Fearless Floyd Show. As always, I am your host, Fearless Floyd, and it is Monday night, March 6th, 2023, and I have on my illustrious, infamous, new director of South Pacific, Anne LaFleur, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Glad to meet you. Glad to see you again. It's been a while. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're glad to have her back, uh, as always. Uh, tonight's topics, we're going to talk about the classes that uh, I facilitate for Anne to allow her to educate you guys on various issues such as trusts and everything about trust, as well as the VCR voucher coupon remittance process. So, Anne, uh, what do you want to dive into first? The trusts? Well, sure. So, literally, Good. we have the beginning trust class that we have been doing for quite some time that deals with um, learning how to set up your original trust. This is so important, guys. Everything is going to trust. Let me tell you this simple fact. The RV is coming out and trusts are going to be the only way you're going to get some money. So people need to literally figure out how to set up their trusts and get them done. Then we have our second class that deals with deeds, all the types of deeds that you will need to pass um, your property into your trust. So this is how you will transfer your land and how you transfer your automobiles. Uh, we have all kinds of different deeds, like gift deeds, property deeds, uh, quick claim deeds, things like this. So we'll go over. And it's basically teaching you guys everything to write your own deeds. So when we're talking about property deeds, we need to literally get out of the um, zone called military zone and get back into the land zone. So we'll be going over how you're going to change your coordinates for your land titles and your land, your land zones for your home. So it also will be, you know, important that you guys use these if you want mail to still come to the home. And we are doing a brand new class this month. And um, I, I mean, we've been getting thousands of, you know, calls on this class. People are just after me constantly. It's going to be dealing with mortgages. It also would be dealing with foreclosures. It also will be dealing with court cases in the mortgage system. So basically what we're dealing with is we're dealing with a lot of fraud. So I will be showing you guys all about the fraud, how the fraud works, what we're going to be doing to combat the fraud. There is a lot of procedures that we can do to have these companies literally investigated. The reason we're doing this is because they're taking your mortgage and they're turning it into a security. They're splitting the note and the mortgage security into two different entities, which they need to stick together. And this is why you get what you guys need to learn how to understand how your deeds and how these documents always have to file follow each other excuse me and we we really, really oh my goodness we literally need um uh a chain of title so we'll be learning all about that how that works and how we can take the information just from our documents and a little bit searching to you know shut down these mortgages uh so we're going through that we have the uh, VCR class that we've been doing. We've got some new procedures coming up, guys. Um, literally, uh, I just got a mortgage paid off the other day. <laughs> we've got some tax bills paid off, things like this. So we're going to be teaching you guys how to write your own promissory notes that have the correct directions on them that will literally show you and show them where to turn these into because guys they, they love these things they love their promissory notes they love all of this stuff because all they have to do is turn it back into a security and take your note and use it on the market to even make more money Absolutely. and then we have 
another brand new class coming up this month called Trust 401. That is going to be all about setting up your revo irrevocable trust, a trust that will you cannot revoke. So these are stationary trusts. And we'll go over how you can layer them, how you will be able to, you know, create your major trust, like a hierarchy or a file system where you have your directories, your top directory, and your subdirectories underneath. So this will be our other new class we're coming out with this month. Uh, these are all really important classes, especially because, guys, look at the situation. You see it all around you. We are moving to the gold standard. Already, there has been two, almost two-thirds of America and there are different states who literally have come out and said, uh, we are accepting gold, we are accepting gold and silver again. Where it was taken away in 1933, they're bringing it back. So there is a lot of states that have reenacted the gold and silver. So this is what's coming up, guys. Come and join us. Have some time. Learn the learn what you're gonna need because. Everybody has to learn how to operate a trust. And this is where life goes. And this is how we get out of this uh, public crap we're in and into the private blissful sector. <laughs> right. I think one of the key things that you just mentioned that probably just went right by everybody because you said it so quickly. And this is what I've been trying to express to everybody is that the... Uh, traditional way we have always envisioned and enacted with our banking system here in the United States, uh, i.e., you know, Wells Fargo, Chase, Bank of America, or any one of the lower tier banks, that is going to change. Your bank is not going to be a bank anymore in the traditional sense. It's going to be a wealth management center. And if you don't have any wealth or a trust to operate and contain your wealth, uh, then you're going to be on universal basic income, you'll own nothing, and you'll be just splendidly happy. So, <laughs> yeah. Own nothing, have nothing, and beg for everything. <laughs> right? It's just like uh, Amshel uh, Meyer Rothschild said, I care not who makes the laws as long as I control the money. There you go. So, who do you want to be? Do you want to be Rothschild or do you want to be one of his servants? <laughs> <laughs> I want to be Rothschild. Sorry. <laughs> we all have the power to control ourselves. We all have the power to control our own being, our own way, our own destiny. So the way we're going to be doing this is we're going to be setting up our trust and we're going to take control of our lives. And it's really not that difficult, guys. It's pretty, I, I would say, beautiful, if you ask me. It's a great system. It's easy to operate. And literally, I have people right now uh, getting their refunds directly into their trust. You guys want refunds. You don't want to pay your bills because uh, everything's paid and you need stuff done. Set up your trust. Learn how to do it. Learn how to operate it. And learn how to move into the private. Right. Okay. Here's the website. And this is the Fearless Floyd Show dot com. Let me move this. So I just here's the home button. Anyway, this is the classroom. And if you go here, as the dates, of course, this one's already expired. When you're here in March, so we're coming up on March 13th and 14th, which is a Monday and Tuesday. You can take the Trust 101 class, and that's the basic fundamental class of how to establish your trust, get an EIN, and then set up a bank account. And then following 201, we have, uh, I mean, the 101, we have the 201, which is on the 21st. That's a Tuesday, two-hour class. And scroll down, we have 301 right here. And that's on the 27th, which is a Monday. And then the 28th is Tuesday. That'll be the 401 class. This probably will not be effective. We're going to probably have to pull that, right? You're not going to be done with this class by the 28th? Oh, no, I'm almost finished. I I, oh. I will be definitely finished with the two classes. 
Okay. There will be no issues to teach either one of these classes on the two games. Okay. And then, of course, we have the VCR class down here at the bottom. This class has been moved. We're going to reschedule this. to What what day we reschedule the uh, VCR class? 20th. 20th. So that'll be a Monday, Monday, March 20th. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you click on that anyway, um, you will still be subscribed to the class, enrolled in it, and you will we'll take care of you. But I'll go back and change all of that. So, oh, here, sorry. I wanted to run through to show exactly what happens. Here, we'll just show uh, the one-on-one. Click on this. Well, somebody just tell me I can't enroll in that. That's weird. That's not good. Try that again. I'm gonna have to stop screen share. Stay true. All right, this is what it's supposed to do. I'll get Jesse to go fix that. But when you click on it, it's gonna pop up the date. You just click on the 21, seven o'clock is the class. Click on that, confirm, and this, it's asking you for this information and this information is strictly for me. So I can keep up with who you guys are, your name, your email, anything that'll assist us, your telegram name and your phone number, where to send text messages to. All this is mine for me. So I can keep track of who you guys are because you're going to have a different telegram name than your real name. And you may even give me an alias here. And your email may be for your business. So nothing matches. I don't know who you are if you're talking to me through two different platforms. So that's a big issue. So when you put that information in there, it doesn't go to PayPal. It doesn't go to me. PayPal is just a facilitator. You don't actually pay through PayPal. So you just schedule that and you'll start getting text updates and everything for the to attend that particular class. Anything else we want to touch on? Mom, yeah, everything is moving wonderfully and all stuff is coming to a head. So guys, get in the swing and start joining the classes and start getting out of this, you know, public sector that we're sitting in and get into the private. It's where life starts to be absolutely wonderful. Right. And, you know, and remember, guys, especially, you know, we encounter this. You guys get up against a wall behind a rock in a hard place. Okay. Then y'all want to reach out for help. So we're telling you now, before you get there and need help, come take, realize (laughs) this opportunity and set your trust up now or establish it. If you use us or not, okay, go set up a trust. (laughs) That's the only thing we can tell you. And learn how to operate it and function it. So, all right, and uh, you want to tell everybody that you shut down a court case in Texas? Or you want oh, to well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been helping a lot of people with court cases. I had a really interesting one in Maryland against the uh, federal government, IRS. And literally, um, I got the uh, judge to recluse himself and postpone indefinitely the sentence hearing so i mean that's like the majorest win i've ever seen yet over the irs so basically the guy is off the hook uh it was a joke of a case in the first place we'll go over it one day but the biggest victory well not the biggest victory all of them are big victories a huge victory came in this morning out of tarrant county tarrant county texas I have a gentleman who was arrested falsely. Uh, Literally, there was nothing in his account. They've been holding him for almost a year, never even seen him in court. When he walked in the court the first time, because he didn't want to contract with them, and he asked, you know, so that he told them, I'm going to go find my counsel. And he never said lawyer. And she just looked at him and says, Look, I don't want to hear that. You're in contempt of court because he wanted a counsel and not an attorney to represent him. And so basically she had the guy arrested and thrown in a 
thrown in the back room cell for um, uh, maybe 10 minutes. And I mean, the five policemen that surrounded him and threw him in the cell literally told him, uh, you got 120 days in county, no, 180 days in county for contempt of court. <laughs> I'm just like, are you kidding me? And then he says, oh, and the judge told us that we will up it three more times. So that will give you two years in court. I mean, two years in jail uh, for contempt of court. So I'm just like, are you kidding me? So he went ahead and he signed the document. Well, she walked, when he walked out, she was like all pleased with herself. And she says, well, I see you signed my document. <laughs> kind of a forcing, coercing, you know, you, you're not supposed to do that. So anyhow, he got out of that one and they gave him another court date. So I said, no, 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 this is not going to happen, you know, just because um, who you are and they have nothing on you. And the judge even says, well, we have nothing on you. Uh, we don't have an indictment. We have no paperwork. We have absolutely nothing on you. But yet we want you to sign our contract. So basically, when he walked out, uh, I got to work right away. And I started filing tons of complaints against the judge, number one, filing all kinds of forms and then putting together a major package to have the court investigated. He walked back into court today and he walked out a free man. No, no, uh, his court case is completely gone. They can't even find it. It wasn't just dismissed. It was dismissed and adjudicated or whatever you want to call it but erased off of the system. It doesn't exist anymore. So it was discharged, erased, and dismissed. It's gone. Wow, that's better than sealing. <laughs> yeah, it's better than sealing it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But they're still getting investigated, <laughs> so they're getting a nice free audit, <laughs> thanks to All us. Right. Yeah, big joke. The big fat audit. All right. Yeah. Well, congratulations on that. That's uh, those are a couple uh, big things happening. Yeah. Been helping some people with mortgages and uh, one lady was getting, you know, five phone calls a day and letters, you know, in her mailbox every other day. And we went through the VCR process where she did her mm -hmm. vouchers. And what happened is they were not accepting them. So I wrote her a very special, special promissory note and a very special letter. She sent it in. And since she's done that, they've, they've stopped. They've left her alone. Everything is gone. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's That's not awesome. the only one. Several mm -hmm. of them, uh, several mortgages have gone down the same way. Oh, huh. okay yeah awesome wow okay a lot of work i'm looking forward to class coming up <laughs> yeah me too because i mean there's some new processes there's some new things that are people putting out there i'd like to bring them up in class you know guys it there is so many different options if one of our options doesn't work like i mean i'm serious uh if you literally copy and paste the same thing over and over again, the companies will reject you. The companies will literally reject everything you're doing. So everything has got that we're teaching has got to be retrofitted and in your own words. And you're the one who has to do this. We can give you the information and we can give you the templates, but using uh, just copy and pasting, affairs into a template is not going to get you very far. I'll be honest with you because in all the ones that I've ever done, uh, I literally retrofit or hand write my letter to go with each case. I never use a template and just put their name in it. Right. Yeah. Put your little, it takes a little work guys, but if you want the, if you want the reward, you have to do the work. Right. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you for coming on and sharing all that with us. Uh, shit. It. I look, like sure. I said, I look forward to class. Uh, it's coming up on the 
um, 13th, 13th and 14th. 13th and 14th is one-on-one -on -one class. And then on the 20, 20th, we have the VCR class. That's a Monday. And on Tuesday, the 21st, we have 201. And then on the following Monday and Tuesday, we have 301 and 401, respectively. All right. And the floor, thank you for coming on the show and sharing with everybody about what we're going to facilitate here in the coming months. And look forward to you uh, teaching class. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for inviting me back again. It's been All fun. Right. Aloha. Okay, talk to you guys later. No, <laughs> it's Yorana. Oh, Yorana. Or Maruru. Uh, Aloha is Hawaiian. I'm in Tahiti. So okay. everything is Tahitian. <laughs> Dang it. All right, got to learn a new language. Uh, so all you have to do is say, Hari Maru, Hari Papu. Take it slow, take it easy. From Tahiti. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs> all right. See you later, Anne.